What is awe? Awe is the feeling we get in the presence of something vast, which challenges our understanding of the world. Like looking up at a million stars in the night nice sky, or watching and witnessing a birth of a child. When people feel awe, they may use other words to describe the experience, such as wonder, amazement, surprise, or transcendence. The most common source of awe are other people and nature. However, awe can be enlisted by many other experiences as well, such as music, art, architecture, religious experiences, the supernatural, or even one's own accomplishments. We often think about awe in response to rare and intense events, such as viewing a sunrise over the Grand Canyon, watching Olympians break world records. However, Awe is also found in the everyday, watching the leaves in a ginkgo tree change from green to yellow, seeing a stranger give food to a homeless person. Scientists believe awe may have helped our evolutionary ancestors survive in the face of uncertain environments, which demanded group cooperation. Today, researchers are uncovering the benefits of awe for clear thinking, good health, and close relationships. Although the modern view of awe in Western society is overwhelmingly positive, awe is a complex emotion, one which can be intensely pleasurable or imbued with dread. Depending on the context, awe can be felt in response to nature's capacity for destruction, such as tornadoes or hurricanes, a leader's course of charisma, or our perception of an angry and punitive god. More awe experiences of awe are tingled with fear and threat and may not have the same benefits as awe experiences of wonder or amazement. So how does one elicit feeling a, such a complex of feeling? Why, why practice awe? Why do we feel awe? The scientific research on awe is still in its early stages. However, it suggests which awe is more than a monetary good feeling. Experiences of awe may have long-term effects on our minds, bodies, and social connections. Here are some of the most exciting findings from the nascent researchers on awe. Awe feels great. Experiences of awe doesn't just make people feel wonder and amazement. People also tend to feel a cascade of other positive emotions, such as joy and gratitude, which are linked to greater health and well-being. Awe encourages curiosity and creativity. People who experience awe find greater interest in abstract paintings, for example, and persist longer at difficult puzzles. Awe makes us more generous, encouraging us to help others even when it costs us. Awe makes us feel smaller, which helps us gain perspective. Awe is linked to better physical health. Awe-prone people show lower levels of a biomarker, IL-6, that reduce their risk of cardiovascular disease, depression, and autoimmune disease. Time seems to expand band as we feel awe and immerse ourselves in the present moment detached from our normal mundane concerns. Awe sharpens our brains, encouraging critical thinking. I can already hear everyone thinking, this all sounds great and I'm so convinced that awe is a very important emotion, one which we can all create, but how do we create it? How do we seek out these moments of awe, Sean? The potential benefits of awe for your mind, body, and social connections make it an emotion worth cultivating. However, you don't have to take a trip to Mount Everest or anywhere around the world to reap its benefits. Here are some science-based activities which can help you cultivate more awe in your daily life. Awe videos, which quickly introduce feelings of awe by watching four-minute videos. Awe narratives. Write down a time when you felt a sense of awe. Awe stories. Read a brief story which will inspire awe. Noticing nature. Be mindful of nature to feel more awe and connection. And my favorite, awe walks. Turn off your cell phone. 
take a walk, increase your sense of wonder. And here are some other ways you can increase the feeling of awe. Spend time with young children. Everything is novel and mysterious to children. They can help you see the world through their eyes and increase your own feeling of awe at the simple wonders which we adults often take for, for granted because we've been here for so long. Read the biography of someone who inspires you. Awe is everywhere online. Search Google or YouTube for the top awe-inspiring places or videos. Watch the vast landscapes of our planet and planet Earth. Nature is a common elicitor of awe, and there's a reason that scents from this video are often used to elicit awe in the labs. Visit an art museum, history museum, or a science museum to encounter new and mind-bending displays which elicit the feeling of awe. Thank you very much for listening to Inspiring on this lesson too. Awe. Next lesson, lesson three, forgiveness. Be kind to yourself, others, and don't pollute.